Hi everyone. You're looking at a bunch of things that I've created this year uh, during the Mixed Media Morsels Desserts uh, series. And most, if not every single thing here, has been created with scraps. And uh, you might have looked at the title of this video, Got Scraps, and thought, uh, yeah. <laughs> Because those of us who create, we definitely have scraps, and they seem to multiply on their own, and uh, they're just, we've got piles and bins and boxes of them everywhere. So I wanted to just give you a quick view of how many just cool things you can make with scraps, okay? And you guys have seen me do these videos along and along, so you've seen all of these items and how they're made with scraps and or things that would normally be thrown thrown away, like an empty tea bag, a used tea bag. So um, I've done, you know, like I said, all of these little desserts. I've done uh, pages in my, my shipping bag book, which is also basically a scrap because it's something that typically would be thrown away when you pull this paper out of a, a box that you've, you know, received something in the mail and it's got wadded up paper in it. So I'm creating on those pa on those papers, and uh, most of what you see on some of these pages is scraps that I'm trying to use, because they really do create cool things. I mean, you can you can see just by glancing at this that this is made from scraps and stuff that would normally normally be thrown away. Uh, also, you've seen me creating in my altered book. And these are some of my morsel scraps that I've been calling crumbs. And uh, this was a morsel crumbs cleanup. So I grabbed a bunch of scraps and, you know, glued them down to the page and added a little bit of doodling. Same thing on this little uh, card. And it just makes the most fun thing. So uh, those of you who have been following my blog also have seen the tags that I've been creating. Uh, all year uh, using all of these different uh, dessert um, items uh, I've been creating and I'm using scraps in a lot of the um, in a lot of these tags there's areas like these little uh, leaves right here were die cut from scraps of painted papers um, you know there's just all kinds of stuff scraps of uh, book text used to make the little border there uh, burlap pieces, leftover pieces can be used just like this to cut and create with. And uh, these little scraps um, that I used on some of these wooden uh, wooden embellishments like this. So it's just amazing what you can use those scraps if you'll just pull them out and look at them and see what you have and go through it often to see what you have available to you uh, because you will be able to make a lot of cool things. So I got to thinking about, you know, scraps and how often we are using them now. And, you know, I used to say all the time that I want, I'm want i trying to use up my scraps. And I do want to use them up to an extent, but I don't really want to use them all up. Because if I use them all up, that means I'm not creating anymore, which is what's making those scraps. And I know that ain't going to happen. So <laughs> I'm just going to consider that I want to use my scraps. So... I've been making a concerted effort this year, um, and this is just a few of the items that I'm showing you here where I've used scraps, um, but I've been really making an effort this year to use a lot of them, and I realize that a lot of you are too, but at the same time, I also realize there's a lot of you out there who have all these scraps and you're not doing anything with them, and maybe you don't know what to do with them. So I decided that I'm going to start a brand new Facebook group just for this purpose. And this new group is going to be called Random Remains Revived. Okay, we're giving scraps a new life. So the, the purpose of the group will be for uh, everyone to show what they're creating with their scraps. And it will inspire and motivate myself and a lot of other people to use um, our own scraps and create something with them rather than throw them in the trash. And um, 
The idea is to use any type of scraps. So paper scraps is, is perfect because we all typically deal with paper. So we've got paper scraps from projects, from gift wrapping, from napkins, uh, tissue papers, any kind of paper scraps, painted paper scraps, jelly prints, uh, you name it. Use them and create something with them. You can also use fabric scraps, ribbon, lace, trims, uh, strings, leftover little bits of strings and washi tapes and things like that. All, all kinds of scraps. Uh, product packaging, uh, like the, the tissue boxes that we used or food packaging boxes. Uh, you guys remember that um, I created this little uh, collage book out of a little Debbie cake box, okay? So that's using a scrap to me. A scrap is anything that you might ordinarily toss in the trash. And so that's another thing that, um, that I've used to make scraps with. So uh, any of your art supply packaging, clothing tags, we've done that. Um, food packages, um, any kind of uh, product packaging is great for creating something with because you normally would just toss it. So... I hope you will all come over to uh, this brand new group, Random Remains Revived, and um, we'll revive these little leftover bits and give them some new life and uh, create a lot of fun things. And I'm really anxious to see what everyone will create. And um, just the fact that you uh, would come there and post some pictures, it can you can post pictures of older stuff you've done or brand new things you're creating. Uh, the only uh, specific rule about posting that I'd like to put in place is that if you post a, a photo in the group there, I just want you to make sure you did use scraps in it and tell us what the scraps were and how you used them. It's pretty simple. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. And if it's any, anything like what we've been experiencing in the Mixed Media Morsels group, I think it'll be a terrific uh, amount of fun and inspiration for everybody. Mixed Media Morsels is continuing. I'm not stopping that by any means, but I did want to, <clears throat> excuse me, get a new group going that is just about scraps because we've got so many of them. So <laughs> let's wade through our mountains of scraps together and uh, see what we can create and, um, and motivate each other with. And I look forward to seeing you there. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.